Hi, today we're going to go over how to enroll in classes. To start, open your favorite internet browser. Then, go to lfcc.edu. You'll then click My LFCC. Here you will need to log in with your My LFCC username and password. If you've forgotten your username or password, or this is your first time logging in, you can click Forgot Username or Forgot Password down here at the bottom. If, after using these links, you are still having trouble logging in, you can contact Enrollment Services or your advisor for more assistance. Once in LFCC, you will click on SIS. SIS has gone, undergone some recent changes, so it may look a little different than when you've logged in before if you've enrolled in classes before. Clicking on My Student Information will take you to your Student Center. There's now a toolbar on the left-hand side that will help you more easily navigate through SIS. You can minimize this toolbar by clicking this little black button and reopen it by clicking it again. There's many things you can do in your Student Center. It's a great place to start if you're not sure where to go to complete the task you need to do. Today, since we're enrolling in classes and searching for classes for the upcoming semester, we're gonna click on the Class Search dropdown. We'll then click on Class Search, which will pull up the search screen. I'm going to go ahead and minimize the toolbars so that we can have a bigger view of the screen. When enrolling in classes, you'll want to make sure the correct school is selected in the institution dropdown. Be sure that Lord Fairfax Community College is selected before beginning to search for classes. You also want to make sure you've selected the correct term. In this drop-down, you'll need to select whatever term you plan to take classes in. You'll then scroll down and type in the subject box, the subject code of the class you wish, wish to take. If you don't know the subject code, you can click Select Subject, which will pull up an alphabetical list of all the different subjects and their subject code. In course number, you will type in the course number for the course you wish to enroll in. If you don't know the course number, you can leave it blank and just it'll pull up whatever classes are under this subject code. You can leave course career blank. Under campus, you will need to select a campus if you plan to take in-person classes and have a preference as to which campus you take those at. If you're taking online classes, or do not have a preference as to which campus you take your in-person classes at, you do not need to select a campus. For this video, I'm going to select Middletown Campus. You do not have to select a mode of instruction unless you know that you only want to take in-person classes, or only want to take online classes, or only want to take hybrid classes. In order to see the most amount of course offerings, I would suggest leaving this blank. You can leave the next two boxes blank and be sure that the show open classes only box is checked. That way you are only viewing classes that are available to be enrolled in. Now we're ready to search. At the top of the search results screen, you'll see two boxes that as my class schedule are classes you're already enrolled in and shopping cart is where your classes will hang out until you're ready to finish your enrollment. It is important to know that putting a class in your shopping cart does not save your seat in that class. The only way to save a seat in that class is to enroll in the class and add it to your schedule. You'll want to make sure that any classes you put in your shopping cart and then enroll in do not conflict as far as time with any classes already on your schedule. If you scroll down, you'll see all the class sections offered for the class that you search for, SDV 100. It is important to pay attention to information in each of these columns under each section for the class. 
The first thing to note is under the section column what time this class runs in. So, for example, this first class is a 14-week class, meaning it runs throughout the entire semester. You can also look over here under meeting dates to clarify this. So this class runs from August 23rd to December 14th, or the whole semester. We also offer seven week one classes that are only run the first seven weeks of the semester. So they would begin on August 23rd and end on October 11th. Seven week two classes that would begin on October 12th and run till December 6th. Dynamic classes that have some more specific dates and times and usually run in a very short amount of time. And five week one, two, and three classes. Be sure to pay attention to what section you're enrolling in as well as the meeting dates so you know when your class begins and ends. In the days and times column, you'll see two different things. You will see either a day and time listed or you will see TBA. Generally, a TBA day and time is associated with an online class that does not have a required meeting time. If there's a day and time listed in the class and it says online for the room, that means that that class has a required meeting time online, usually via Zoom. In the room column, any class that has MC means that class meets the Middletown campus in Fairfax Hall, room 404. Because we selected Middletown campus in the search screen, this, these selections will only say Middletown campus or online. If we had selected Fauquier or not made a campus selection, it would show us Fauquier options as well. It's important to pay attention to this so that you ensure you're taking classes at the correct campus. Like I said before, any class that says online in the room means it meets online with no requirement to come to campus. You can click on the section to get more information about the class. And then click view search results to return to the previous screen. When you've found a class that you'd like to enroll in, you can click select. And here's a point to, important to look and make sure there are no prerequisites for the class. If there was a prerequisite for the class, it would be listed here. Since this class has no prerequisites, you're good to go. If there were prerequisites, you would want to make sure that you've met them before adding the class to your shopping cart and enrolling. When you're ready to enroll, you can click Next. And you will see that the class has been added to your shopping cart. To search for another class, you could click Modify Search and change the subject and course number to the next class you would like to search for. Once you're ready to enroll, you can click on the shopping cart link to go to your shopping cart. Here you will see all the classes that you've added. When you're ready to enroll, you need to check the boxes next to the classes you wish to enroll in and click Enroll. This screen allows you to review and confirm the classes that you wish to enroll in. If everything looks good, you can click Finish Enrolling. If you have green check marks in the status section, that means you've been successfully enrolled in the class. If there's a red X, that means there has been some sort of error and you have not been enrolled in the class. If you receive a red X for error in any of the classes you try and enroll in, you will need to contact Enrollment Services or your academic advisor about how to fix this error. If you have been successfully enrolled, you can then click the My Class Schedule and Book Information link to show all your class schedule and a link to the bookstore to receive your textbook information. 
You can also access a printer-friendly version of your schedule at this page. And you're done. You've been successfully enrolled in classes. If you have any additional questions after watching this video about enrolling in classes, I encourage you to reach out to your academic advisor.